Behind me, we are looking at the aft ship of the 80-year-old schooner Tigerai, which, as part of the major rebuild, is in for a little makeover. My name is Gijs, and this is my dad. And this is schooner Tigerai. We have recently started a major rebuild to get her ready for new adventures. And we're sharing the process with you. Subscribe to stay tuned. A few weeks ago, we removed the old bumpkins and after that, we attached the backstays to the remains of the bumpkins on deck. Now it's time to make a permanent place for the backstays, as well as a traveler for the mainsail sheet and a place to hang the new dinghy on. So let's get started. That's two nice and very strong railing posts. They have to be so strong because they have a lot of purposes. Firstly, the mainsail boom traveler, which allows the mainsail boom to travel freely from starboard side to port side. On some ships, this is located on the main deck, but we have decided to raise it up a little bit higher to save space on deck and to avoid tripping hazard. Next up is healing the railing to the railing posts and apply some primer. Since there will be quite some force from the backstays in the forward direction, the railing posts get some extra support to counter this force and then the backstays can be attached. In the end of the video I will talk a little bit about the new dinghy. But first we must get into the davits to store this dinghy when it's not in use. We could have just bought fully finished dinghy davits, but we have all the parts to build our own and now we can make them exactly to our own liking. The booms are made from standard 2 inch pipe, bent into the correct shape. Since the boom will be able to swing from port side to starboard side, this is always a cause for rust on the points of contact. So we're using stainless steel on all the moving parts where metal touches metal. This does mean cutting and welding a lot of stainless steel parts.
With all the parts prepared, we can weld them to the railing posts. In the meantime, we are replacing the old backstays, which are a little bit rusty, for new ones that we still are laying around. They do need to be impregnated with a protective coating to make them last a little bit longer. Back to the Davids. A coat of primer and a sheave on top and they are ready to be installed. Now all they need are some winches and they are completely functional. And we can straight away use them to close off the remains from the old bumpkins on the aft deck.
apart from that, we need some steps on the transom to get in and out of the dinghy when it's alongside the aft ship and some mooring ice to tie the dinghy to when it's in the water. Another important part that we cannot forget is a holder for the flag post on the aft railing. Now everything needs a good coat of paint and finally we can attach the backstays to the fully finished railing posts. We've tested the new Davids with the old dinghy and we are quite happy with the result. Now it's time to talk about the new dinghy. We have to replace the old one because it's been around the world already once, 30 years ago, and it's showing some signs of old age. But it's been a suitable dinghy for us, albeit a little bit small. For a new dinghy we have quite some demands. It has to be a rowing and sailing dinghy, and it must be seaworthy. So double bottom, watertight benches, and a watertight place below the foredeck. It cannot be longer than 4 meters and ideally way less than 150 kilos or 300 pounds and it must fit at least six persons. I've done quite some research on the internet but so far I haven't found a dinghy that meets our demands. So I've taken the liberty of designing a dinghy myself that's easy to build from plywood and epoxy and if nothing better comes up we're gonna build that very soon. It's four meters long, two meters wide and has a sail area of around 10 square meters. So let me know what you think, or if there's a model dinghy out there that meets all our demands, I would gladly hear from you in the comments. That's all for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.